Hey everyone, I am preparing this project for lacing. <clears throat> so I went to my lobby and asked for a coat for this project and we just frame glass and spacers they end up giving me this coat I um they charge fifteen dollars if it's a needlework to do the lacing and I think I'm gonna do the lacing myself so they end up giving me this acid free board and then I'm gonna do the lacing and tomorrow I'm gonna bring this coat <coughs> with this project so that I can prepare the frames, the glass and the spacers needed spacers because of this um beads but yeah we'll do the lacing for this so i decided to add this at the back so i have plenty of those I need to use them. So, it's added there. Mm, I'm still not done. Okay, guys. What I'm showing you right now is my attempt to make a project portfolio for my meal hill beads meal hill kit um after this i'm gonna do another one so i thought i just put them on a zip lock and i since i now have access to my sewing machine and some of the fabrics so i decided to try making a portfolio i watched elizabeth and can stitch tutorial but I'm using my own measurement I just watched um get some ideas and I like her idea and figured I can sew a bag which is very complicated and I may be able to do this one so I use Christmas fabric this is I quilted it I used the foam stabilizer. I had difficulty because I used my existing stabilizer, which is not fusible. So this kind of helped a little bit, but not really. And yeah, it works okay. And my plan is to use this as binding outside and the flap and to use this fabric as this side and I'm thinking of using this for the zipper or things like this or maybe other things other fabric maybe a green one I don't know yet for the zipper and yeah I can't finish this tonight though but this is I decided to do 8 by 10 so it has um, yeah. that's it hey everyone I completed this project portfolio. I'm just a little bit disappointed. It's not perfect. I think I have to watch closely how others are doing. I 
I don't like my binding job and I decided to go for a snap that I don't really like hand stitched maybe next time I'll go for magnetic snap but um, this is what I chose Christmas fabric because this will house my meal heel cross stitch project in the future meal heel so I want to do one at a time but I enjoy doing them so I made this so here's what's inside sorry for the glare so here I put that, the powder, and the bead mat. It goes there. And for this, I put that, the floss, and the beads. So, I kind of copy um, Elizabeth and Ben Stitch tutorial, but I wasn't really following her. You know different measurement I wasn't watching how she did I did my own measurement I just picked up the idea but I think I want to watch that video again and check her measurement especially for the binding and how she does with the binding especially here too this is a clear vinyl it's actually curtain so my Walmart ran out of their clear vinyl so I went to the bath area and bought a curtain it's actually not really clear it's kind of and I put my signature there and yeah I want to do another one and make it perfect when it comes to stitching this one is not really perfect so I want to do another one for ornaments, projects, and then I want to do a bigger one as well, but we will see. Hey everyone, I started this last night. It is Luda by Mirabilia, and I stitched on it tonight, and here's my progress. This is stitched on 16 count. I don't know, forgot the name of the fabric. But I don't have all the floss, so I have to go to Hobby Lobby tomorrow to get the rest of the floss that I needed for this. And it's fun. I started in the middle, and apparently the middle is around her face. So that's the update for you. And see you next time.